You're watching Sealed Only 1v1. We did it again. We won. We took another 2-0. Uh, we got some more combos off. It was less of a brick fest. Really excited to see. It was a really fun match. And, you know, we've almost really won the whole thing. So that's kind of cool. There's three cards I want to talk about that I pulled. Uh, I'm only actually using one of them right now, but we're going to talk about two others. And then we're just going to do some test hands, see what the deck is capable of doing going first now, because we haven't done that in a while, and I think it'd be fun. So starting with the card we're actually playing, Borlod Savage Dragon. It's an Omni Negate. You just equip a Link Monster from the graveyard to it, it gets that many negates, and it gets some attack points. So that's really cool and all. The problem with Borlod Savage right now is that we just can't spam through links to always guarantee we have a Link Monster in the graveyard. So setting it up going turn one isn't super reliable. Dragoon, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, a very expensive pull, uh, big money. Now the question is, do I go and hunt down the Verte? The rest of the stuff is in a sealed product altogether. It's easy to get, but it's the, the Verte Anaconda. That's the issue. Do I go back into Dual Overload and just hunt it down? I'm probably not going to. Reason for that is because it's going to be hard to pull, and I don't want to just waste weeks potentially getting nothing, really. There's nothing in there I need, except Levianir, which I might end up getting from Soul Fusion or Maximum Gold down the road. So it's possible we get a Levianir, and then really it's just hunting for the Verte. So we'll play it by ear. Plus, if I get Dragoon, like, that'll just auto-win the series. You know, it's, it's whatever. The thing about Dragoon and Light Sworns is, while it's not impossible to do it, you might mill your Dark Magician or your Red Eyes or your Fusion or whatever, and that is a problem. Have I tried it in Light Swarm before? Yeah, it works. It, it does work sometimes. It's just not always live. It's not the best thing to do sometimes. So I'm not, you know, excited. I'm excited that I got it, but I'm not really going to be looking to play it in the deck unless the stars align. Finally, we want to talk about Barricade Borg Blocker. Uh, if we were doing the Phanonite thing, really, going into Bardiche and all that, you know, being a Dark Link 2 is exactly what we need, which is really good. And being a generic Link 2, it might come up in the future. I, it might not, I don't know. It is a really good card just to have as a placeholder Link 2. So time will tell if we end up playing it or not. The plan going forward now is to actually open up uh, some Toon Chaos next week. Actually opening Toon Chaos again. I want the third Chaos space. We're not stopping until we have it. That's the plan. And then we'll go back to hunting some dragons and some thunder dragons and stuff like that. But we want third Chaos space. So bad. It's been the whole freaking series trying to hunt these things. It's like, ridiculous. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to do a few test hands, see how the deck works. And I hope you guys enjoy them. So we'll see you on the other side. Later. All right, guys, three test hands. We're going to be assuming that we go first because Ruggles is always going to make us go first. So it's very important that we actually plan for going first. So let's go ahead and do our first test hand here. All right. <laughs> well, uh, it's not fantastic by any means, but this hand is like the reason we put Dante in the extra deck, specifically for this application normal special the thing overlay and dante detach we're gonna mill three cards ew ew really ew that's unfortunate but we are gonna activate this dude and set a fog blade and uh pass not the worst turn in the world could be a lot better obviously but you know next turn this will be in the graveyard maybe depending on what else we got going on we could explode Hopefully. That's it for test hand one. All right, guys. It's time for test hand number two. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. We got a wolf. That's not great. Chaos Crater, not great right now. Gamma is always okay. That. Oh, my. That's terrible. Uh, set pass. Uh, maybe we Gamma something. Okay. If we draw that for turn, that's really good. But for going, just, you, know, you know what I mean. All right. Let's see if our third and final hand can be better and we can do fun things. Got Imperm, got Raiden, we got Raiden, got Fogblade, we got Driver. Well, this isn't looking good. This is not looking great. Can we mill two cards with a Raiden that are good? Okay, okay, one more hand, one more hand. Suddenly we're bricking all of our test hands. Uh, it's really, really annoying, but it's okay. You know, we're gonna try. We're gonna try doing one more. That's a good start. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, cool. So this is really good. 
We have the recharge play and the gamma in hand, so he usually always has the ash. So if he has the ash, you know, we have a response, which is really, really good. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, and, you know, not to over explode, we will assume he doesn't have ash, so we don't get to trigger gamma. Whatever. We draw two cards. Ooh, really good. Hand mill two. All right. So now there's a mul there's multiple options we can go through here. We can use chaos space to discard a light to get chaos creator. We can discard a dark to get little white dragon or judgment dragon. You know, those are all options. Um, because there's so many options, we're gonna start with Raiden, see what we mill, and Raiden will dictate our turn. We mill a sword and an imperm. Oh goodness. Well, that doesn't really help our decision making process at all. So let's think for a second. If we go create Chaos Creator, yes, it's live, but we're not doing anything with it. And that's a card we really want to save for a turn that we can try to kill people. So I don't think that's the play. Um, same with Judgment Dragon, it won't do anything for us right now. We only have three names accessible even to begin with. So that's not a play. I think the best play, specifically because we have the Sword and Graveyard, we're going to Chaos Space, and we're going to go ahead and search White Dragon Wyvern Buster here. Now that we got our white dragon here, we're going to go ahead and banish the black to summon the white. We're going to use chaos space, put in the black at the bottom here to draw hopefully a good card. Illumina for next turn is not a bad card at all. You know, that's okay. We still don't have much going on, so what we're going to do, uh, there's no, let's look at our, all right, with these cards, let's look at our extra deck options and see what's actually best. Uh, our obvious ones. We can't do savage right now because there's no links in the graveyard. We can do Omega, but then we'll probably die if he has a follow-up, so that's not a play. We can't do Beals right at this very moment in time, but we might come back to that. So I think the best option right now is just Hulk. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna link our creatures here into a Hulk. We're gonna use Hulk to get a Tuner, we're gonna use White Dragon to get our Black Dragon. And I, and I think our the, the Tuner we should probably grab right now is Plague Spreader Zombie. All right, now that we've done that, we're actually not gonna do anything else because there's no reason to do anything else, really. We're gonna pass turn. Uh, on his turn, he's probably gonna do something, uh, at which point we're gonna chain Hulk, we're gonna banish it. On top of that, we're going to chain our little sword here, this sword, and we're gonna summon this. What's going to end up happening now is the Hauk is going to resolve. It's going to summon us Excel Synchron. And then as you guys know, there's this cool card called Beals that says it has one dark tuner plus one non-tuner monster. So if he tries anything funny, we go ahead and we Synchro Summon Beals. And now, because he's a monster on field probably, that he can't do anything else for the rest of the turn. He can't actually out this. He can kill this if he wants to. He probably should. But that's it. He's not going to be able to win this turn. So next turn, we have quite the power follow-up. Oh, that's, that's our draw for turn. Yeah, we have quite the good the next good going turn, and that's really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.